Well, howdy. What you're looking at here is a Cheska's Breova Vizor 70. That's the uh, how you pronounce the name of CZ in uh, Czech. <laughs> what this is, back when uh, Marshal Tito was running Yugoslavia, he wanted a, uh, a concealed carry pistol for his uh, secret police. And they had a, th this one, only it was called the CZ-70 there, had a slightly shorter barrel and a slightly shorter grip. But all of them are based basically on the Walther PP or the PPK. This one has, I think, eight rounds in the magazine. And um, let's see, it's a, uh, I forget if it's a grip. No, it's a, that's it. Yeah, that's about an eight round magazine, isn't it? One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, that's an eight round magazine. And um, the thing, it acts just like a CZ, like a, a Walther PPK. Uh, Safety is in the same place. It's um, empty. Okay, it's double action with a brutal double action trigger. It's a, uh, it works a single action also with a brutal trigger. Uh, it's uh, not a fun gun to shoot, but um, when uh, the KGB came looking for a good uh, uh, weapon to arm their uh, agents, uh, when they're skulking around in trench coats uh, meeting James Bond with his uh, Walther PPK, they wanted something similar. And they came to the, to the uh, to Bruno and, and bought a bunch of these. Uh, this was the export model. So it became known as the CZ-70. But it was marked, and it is marked on this one, Vizor 70. Vizor is Czech for model. So uh, if, there, if it's a military weapon, they'll say Vizor on it. If it's an export weapon, it'll say CZ for the, uh, the name Cheskaz Brojova. Hey, I said that right. <laughs> so it's uh, an interesting weapon. Uh, these were on the surplus market for a while, relatively cheap. And uh, if you need a cheap uh, carry pistol in 32 auto that's not really going to... Uh, uh, wow anybody, but um, is not going to, it, it shoots. I mean, it really shoots. It, it's accurate, and uh, if you can put up with that brutal trigger, uh, it even fits a big old mitt like mine. So, uh, you know, and that right there says something, because usually I, I have like two fingers on it, and this is dangling down here somewhere. But this one, I can get full three fingers on the thing. And I find that really handy. Uh, it's a good pistol. I mean, I... I I'm just showing off yet another 32 that I have. Uh, this one is not uh, German, and it's not American. It's European, but it's not a well-known, or at least at this time, it was not a well-known European company. So uh, anyway, yet another one. 